Okay, here we are in our brainstem atlas within Sylvius. So I just want to navigate over to the vestibular nuclei. So we're going to find them in the caudal part of the pons, in the upper part of the medulla, and we'll find them in the dorsal and lateral aspect of the tegmentum of the brainstem. Okay, so we're about the level of the mid pons here. If we go down uh, just a few millimeters, uh, and look in this dorsal lateral tegmentum, now we see some nuclei that are part of our vestibular nuclear complex, okay? We are just above the junction of the pons and the medulla here, so uh, we would expect to be near the upper part of this complex. If we go down closer to that junction, now this looks more like the upper medulla, which indeed it is. Uh, we see a medial vestibular nucleus, a spinal vestibular nucleus, uh, don't be concerned about um, the names of the individual nuclei, but I just want you to understand where these nuclei are found in the tegmentum of the upper medulla and the caudal pons. Here's a little bit of the nerve root of the eighth nerve here, and our cochlear nuclei would be out here, uh, just on the uh, lateral uh, aspect of our inferior cerebellar peduncle. So just on the medial side of that peduncle is where we find our vestibular nuclei. So I want you to appreciate sort of the regional location of where we find these nuclei. Dorsal and lateral tegmentum of the upper medulla and the caudal pons, right next to the inferior cerebellar peduncle, and just dorsal to our spinal trigeminal tract and nucleus. Okay? Now this is important because we may discover in our clinical studies uh, a patient that has had a stroke that affects this dorsal lateral region of the upper part of the medulla. This can happen with an infarction of our posterior inferior cerebellar artery, for example. If that should be the case, we would expect there to be this um, collection of neurological signs and symptoms that we can relate to this region of the brainstem. We would expect to see a problem with our trigeminal system, our spinal cerebellar systems, and now we would expect to include problems with our vestibular system. So if we had damage to, let's call this the left side, the left vestibular nuclear complex, we might expect there to be a vestibular nystagmus that would be consistent with turning of the head to the right. That nystagmus would be a slow phase of movement to the left and then a quick beat back to the right. So if we saw that vestibular nystagmus together, with a lack of sensitivity to painful stimuli on the left side of the face and perhaps some incoordination of the left uh, side of the body, then we might conclude that indeed we've got this kind of a lesion of the left dorsal lateral tegmentum of the upper medulla. So this is why regional anatomy is critical for interpreting clinical case studies. And the way we get there is building our knowledge one system at a time. And so for today's lesson, I want you to appreciate the fact that these vestibular nuclei are located right here, the dorsal lateral tegmentum of the upper medulla caudal pons. So I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of the vestibular system, both peripheral mechanisms and now central processing. And uh, I hope you have time to put your vestibular system in action. Uh, I know I need to. I'm due on my basketball court in my driveway to uh, have a little basketball game with my son. And that is sure to activate uh, all of my vestibular apparatus, I'm sure. So let me go do that, and I'll see you next time.